What's up everyone, OG over here from Player Essence, and welcome to my gameplay impressions of Octopath Traveler on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm about 35 hours into the game, but I haven't even made it to chapter 2 of any of the characters. Been power leveling like crazy, been doing the side quests like crazy, been enjoying the atmosphere and everything, and just leveling up and grinding and getting more powerful, and I've been having a blast. Now, in this impressions, I'll have no spoilers at all, so you don't have to worry about spoilers, and I won't be talking about anything in terms of too far ahead or anything like that. So, rest easy, guys. It's just my impressions when it comes to the graphics, music and the gameplay now let's go ahead and just jump right into this guys and we're starting off with the graphics obviously when you first see this game it's like yo it's not like the normal 3d or polygonal or whatever the case is but once you start playing it and you start looking at all the different varied landscapes and all the different locations and everything it takes you back it takes you back to the early 90s it takes you back to the mid 90s the golden age of rpgs and what if this style never died what if 3d gaming what if final fantasy 7 what if these games that came and revolutionized 3d rpgs what if they never came and we got stuck with this however however technology did advance with HD imagine that and that's exactly what Octopath Traveler is as if like Chrono Trigger or Secret of Manor or all of these classic RPGs that we played kind of stayed around and didn't go anywhere we didn't move on to the 3d graphics and I absolutely love that it makes this game from a graphic standpoint one of the most unique games if not the most unique game that I've seen released this generation just because every game is trying to outdo each other with super huge and big graphics or they're trying to make the game as slick or as anime as possible possible and this game says okay well we're gonna make this game look like Chrono Trigger we're gonna make this game look like Final Fantasy 6 but we're gonna modernize it we're gonna put a lot of cool lighting and special effects and all that stuff so you're still gonna get that modern touch and that modern flair of what you'd expect from a normal game but then again you get that retro added bonus and I think that's what makes Octopath Traveler's graphics so appealing to me that mix of modern and really shiny and nice visuals with some of like the fire and the magic and everything when you combine that with the retro styled graphics and everything just moves and gels very slick the presentation the fonts the fading in and out of the menu the sound everything is just so good like when you just start playing the game everything just ties in together with the graphics so I absolutely love that about the game it's probably one of my favorite aspects is just the visual component and kind of how it factors in and I love even with the art that they have the art is very well detailed and everything kind of like Final Fantasy 6 you see the art for the game and then you see the graphics and it lines up very well now it's not the same in terms of the gameplay and all that it's not like it in terms of that but just how the art works and how it looks I just love that about this game because some of my favorite RPGs of all time are Final Fantasy 6 and I love Chrono Trigger and this game kind of oozes that style and that flavor through some of its art and through its graphical style so I even think with like the weapons and with the magic in the game really reminiscent of what Final Fantasy 6 or Chrono Trigger would do not so much with some of the battle tactics but kind of just how like the magic looks and what they try to emulate and everything so for me it's a home run when it comes to the graphics department it just looks phenomenal and you forget at some points that it's pixelated it just takes you back to when you were playing the game because the game was the game you know what i'm saying you're not saying oh well this is just has like the 4k resolutions and all that you're just into it because it's just how the game is and it works for what they're trying to do i honestly just forget like the graphics at times and i'm just like man this just looks great i don't remember that it's pixelized it takes me back to when i was a kid like i've said and it's not pixelized it's just the game and that's how the game looks so I love that about this game. The nostalgia factor kind of makes the graphics to me just be like, man, this is so cool. So I'm really happy with that. Now, I do want to move in to the next thing here. And this is probably one of the components that people talk about the most with Octopath Traveler. And that is the music. The music is nothing short of breathtaking. This game has one of the best scores of a video game ever seriously Japanese RPGs it's up there man this could be a top 10 type of soundtrack it's so good it's so good from the normal battle theme to the ranging countrysides or forest to the snow areas I mean the music is just so good you cannot stop humming it whether you're like at work when I'm sitting there and I'm editing I'm like -na -na -na. I'm just like humming it in my mind every single time 
and even when I'm out somewhere, I'm thinking about the music of this game. It sticks with me, and I think that that's what happens when you really get a Japanese composer who is fully invested. You know, we've seen this with other games, right? We've seen it with like games like Chrono Trigger, Uematsu. We've seen it with games like Xenoblade Chronicles, like those soundtracks where the developer puts literally their heart and soul into it. I think even a game like Bravely Default has that same it factor. And I think that this game also has that. It has that amazing music factor that just kind of makes you say, man, like every single track, every single beat every single sound effect every single thing in this game is so perfectly in tune and gels well with the graphical style and just what you would expect like you expect the music to be good in a lot of these rpgs but then like when you're out there in the battle scene like man this music fits perfectly for the action that's going on or if you're in this town you're like man that music fits perfectly for what's going on here or if you're out on the countryside you're like man that music fits perfectly for what's going on here there's never an out of place music like opportunity every single time you're in every place the music matches well the people say certain things they do certain things the sound effects everything like i said it just kind of just all blends so well together so i'm impressed the music is very very impressive so impressive to the point to where like i listened to the whole soundtrack except for some of like the final boss battles i didn't want to listen to those or spoil those but i've listened to a lot of the soundtrack it's just a beautifully composed score and this should get like score of the year, but it should totally get it if there is, because it is very, very good. I'm not sure if there's another game that can top it when it comes to the music in this one. It fits, it fits, and it fits very, very well for what they're trying to do. So I'm hyped and I'm very excited to kind of talk about that because I haven't really talked about the music too much. But uh, yeah, it's really good. So <laughs> if you're a music fan of video games, make sure you check out Octopath's music. Now, we're going to move into the last thing here, guys. I'm going to be talking about gameplay. And this is the creme de la creme, in my opinion. This is what's most important. This is what the, the factor. This is what gets me playing a game. Like graphics and music can only go so far. Don't get me wrong. Those are very important. I just gushed about the graphics for two or three minutes or however long. But the gameplay. The gameplay needs to gel. The gameplay needs to flow, the gameplay needs to be fun, and it can't be repetitive even though it's an RPG and you're battling over and over and over. And I can honestly sit here and tell you guys, the fact that I've been playing this game for 35 hours and most of the time I've been grinding through, you know, I've been grinding through and power leveling to get to where I'm at. Like I said, I haven't even gotten past anybody's chapter 2s and I still need to gather a couple of the other travelers as well. This game has one of the most addictive and fun combat systems that I have ever played. Now, Bravely Default has had one of the best ones that I've ever played. And this is a little bit more of a Bravely Default light when it comes to the Bravely system in there to where you can power up your character and kind of go like Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan and keep going from there. And then you can max out and then you have certain abilities that are intensified when you do max out. But then you also have characters that are a little bit trickier when it comes to what they can do in each class. For example, you have like Tressa. She's a merchant which merchant isn't necessarily a normal class in a lot of games but she can do tricky things to help you to where you can overpower your enemy right then in there in the first round so you can earn your bonuses for after the match ends so the gameplay just has little trickles of things to where you can put together teams that can just do some devastating things when you work together it's just amazing how well the gameplay is in this game it feels fun it feels fast you get in and out of battles you have a lot of skills to equip your characters with there's a ton of different weapons there's a lot of different stats you have two different accessory slots which is always good I like when they give you two accessory slots and you can really customize your character to your liking in terms of what you want to do and play to the strengths you want to make sure that each character has the optimized equipment you could do that you want to make sure that each character has certain things that fit their benefits in terms of speed and all that you can do that very early in the game and make sure that you set your strategies up so i think that that's what just makes this game so fun is that i have been playing this game for 35 hours going on 40 hours and I'm still not tired of the battle system and I've literally fought thousands upon thousands of battles over and over and every time I'm looking at how I can decimate 
these enemies as fast as possible but it's not even just that though it's the challenge as well there's these areas that you can go to they tell you the danger level that tie into some of the side quests as well and you can go there and challenge yourself if you want to see how fast you can beat some of these enemies because they're going to hit you they're going to take off 700 800 sometimes a thousand hp off of you and if you're right there at that level you can really challenge yourself to grind and get better and the best way to take out enemies in terms of breaking them down and bashing them over the head with a powered up attack so that's what i love about this system the fact that you can power up you can break the enemies down and then you can exploit their weaknesses i love that about elementals and weaknesses that's why i love xenoblade chronicles 2 so much because it has that elemental factor with all the different blades you can connect and this one has that elemental factor as well with a lot of enemies being weak to this or being weak to that even with weapons being weak to spears or being weak to uh, axes are being weak to other things so i love that about this game it's so fun to break down enemies and see how fast you can beat them in one round and not get touched too and not get touched so you can get your domination and all of your bonuses afterwards so it's just great the gameplay is fun standard turn-based rpg but it's still fast uh, the leveling up is good it's just a great game to play great classic rpg with a modern twist with kind of like a little bit of a bravely default light type of system powering up but then also a lot of depth with what you could do with each class how you can kind of transfer over some things and you can do some strategy as well to overwhelm your foes so fantastic fantastic game fantastic gameplay that's what i love the most about octopath traveler is the gameplay which is how it should be that's how games were when i was growing up at least now the graphics are better than the actual gameplay in these games but in this case the gameplay reigns supreme so what do you guys think about octopath traveler so far please no spoilers in the chat below i'd love to hear what you guys' thoughts are and kind of how you're feeling about this game for me personally if i had to rank it right now this is easily one of the best nintendo switch games easily like i'd probably say it's a top five nintendo switch game maybe even a top three nintendo switch game when it comes down to it but it's definitely one of the best games on the system and you should go pick it up if you haven't already done so all right ninja that wraps it up for this video here go ahead and check out the links in the description below we got facebook and twitter go ahead and give us a like and a follow on our social media really helps us spread the content of players across the internet in addition to youtube also, make sure you check out our Patreon, Twitch, and YouTube Live gaming pages and consider supporting Player Essence. When you do so, it gets you access to all sorts of cool benefits, perks, rewards, and emails via YouTube sponsorship. So check out the link in the description below and consider supporting Player Essence right here on YouTube. Hit that like button if you did like this video. Let's me know you guys want more content like this going forward in the future. And subscribe to Player Essence for this RPG, Japanese, and Nintendo gaming news. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the for the next video. Peace! Letting my arrow fly in true. Do not be depressed. Here I go!